Here we go. Here we go. Here, Here we, we fucking yeah. go. <laughs> you know what? It's cute that you were nervous. I, I'm a little nervous, but I think I'll be okay. Is I it, think I've dealt with worse. Is it because it's me or is it because you're worried about the questions? Uh, a little bit of both, but I'm not I'm not concerned about the questions. I say it too. I think you are ballsy or more. You have way <laughs> more at pussy and ovaries. I want to say that. Sorry. I know. Fuck balls. The balls are like <laughs> yeah. the most in, like sensitive. They're so sensitive. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. People like them. Balls? Why are they called the strong? What, what is it? Organ? I guess are they called the that? strong organ? Because they're, they're very the, weak. You kick them and they're that's fucking what I'm saying. terrified. Like they, it means like you got balls. It means you're got. <laughs> I know. I know. That's true. I might. think it, it has to do with masculinity. They're like you're a it's fucking stupid. man. Like no, no, yeah. you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck do we get to talking about balls? Oh no. Do you got balls on the brain? Balls on the brain always. Always. Oh, no, because I was saying you're ballsy. There we go. Here we go. That's right. We're back on track. Yeah, we're back to Here ovaries. We go. Ovary balls. A lot of ovary balls. Do eat eggs. Eggs. <laughs> do you eat eggs? I do. I actually have a weird thing with eggs where I like some di- sometimes I don't eat them because I had a traumatic experience. <laughs> Do you want to hear about my eggs? What did you try? What, what happened? Everyone has a fucked up experience with, with eggs. With eggs. And I'm happy that we brought up eggs. Okay. Remember eggs, okay? Eggs. You guys have like, why the fuck are they talking about eggs? Okay. Just remember eggs. Okay. Eggs. 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 You know on TikTok, eggs that's how you say sex. Like, if you write it like, Oh, sex. Sex. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> the first time I saw that, I was like, what? Yeah, yes. it'll, you'll get, like, uh, muted or something if you talk that's about That's why sex. my ass has to be very careful when I'm on TikTok. You have to. And I haven't really, like... Tried to ting yet because you know what you guys know me and my inappropriate fucking. Ass. Oh yeah, you're gonna get censored so quick. What band deleted? Banned off Tinder for some weird reason. Off Tinder? I don't know. I don't, Were I don't you know. trying to sugar no. on Tinder? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Who's asking the questions now? Is what probably, I want to know. Probably. <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> I sound so fucking guilty. I can't even. She's like, try. who like, me? Me? No. <laughs> Oops. So innocent. First of all, I would like to introduce. Can we just talk about how fine you look today? Hello. <laughs> Me? Oh my God. Thank like, you. He was <laughs> front and center. Do you see these things? I wasn't going to even they wear a bra, amazing. but I did it for you. I they didn't want to stab you. What is that? That is so sexy. Thank you. You need to, like, we need you as a model for Oh my God. Kitty. Thank Don't you. Guys this is just like I'm getting promoted. I'm just being here. Mm. Thank you so much. Well, from art to modeling. <laughs> I want you to introduce yourself, darling. Um, my name is Scenaria. I'm a digital artist from Toronto. Boop, boop, boop. Shout out to Only Skanks because we're a bunch of skanks on the Only Skanks. It's a skank house today. It's not it's just skanking. a pulley pal- pussy palace. It's right? skank palace. That's I love right. that. When I first saw my scene, Only Skanks mm-hmm. was through Vanessa. She did tell me, she's like, my girl loves your art. Yeah, no, honestly. <laughs> you guys, if you follow me, you know me. She's my best friend. Oh, she's She's here, actually. <laughs> she's Hi, around Vanessa. somewhere. We're not going to bring her on camera because she's too shy. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so she introduced us mm-hmm. and I fell in love with your art because it was perfect. The name only skanks. I was like, yes, I am a skank, sort of. Yes, this applies and to then, me. And I was like, no, yeah. <laughs> no, you look at it, you're like, I'm totally a skank. I started it as like a joke. Like I honestly did it because my actual Instagram name is Only Sans, which yeah. is like Only Fans. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, how am I going to transition to art? I'm like, Only Skanks. And I did it as like, a joke. It wasn't even a fucking thing. And then look at And then it blew up. And then I had to make business cards that say my name and Only Skanks and gave it to my mom. <laughs> and she was like, uh, Only Skanks? And she's like, a little like Arab lady. She's like, oh, she's like, oh it's so this? you. She's like, it's so you. Oh, I love it. Yeah. You know like, what? My mom's like, what? <laughs> Nympho, what? And she's like, you know what? Prince, you love Prince. So that makes sense. <laughs> Shout they out know, to Prince. They know us. They raised us. Right? They're, they're <laughs> like, oh, oh no. What have we done? Because, but my mom's told me some stories. I'm like, mm, girl, please. Oh. But your art, honestly, guys, you got to check her out. We will definitely. Thank you. She's going to, you'll, you'll see. Mm-hmm. Come on. You'll be able to find out. I am so happy to have you on. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. Oh, no. The pleasure's <laughs> mine. Seriously. Thanks for having me. Hello. It's so nice. <laughs> oh, no. Seriously. But I want to, first of all, before we start anything. Oh, no. You told me you had some fun. I did. A weeks ago. I did. <laughs> See, I, I did. Lean back and, I was uh, like, boy, do I have a story for you? I met her yes. once. I'm like, you're going to hear this. Like, you don't no, even want to hear it. First, first. It was the first time I actually <laughs> had any direct communication yeah. with you. And you're like, I am going to this party. Here. Yeah, it was, a, it was a nice little <laughs> sex party orgy situation. So uh, my mom was like, going to turn this off now. <laughs> oh, my God. So 
how did it go in terms of the invitation process? And like, okay. Was it someone you knew? Was it a club? Like, so this kind tell. of, this can Let's I give you the full you. story? It mm-hmm. goes way back. So I had a girl sit in my section. I'm also a server at a restaurant. That is my part-time job. I do that on the side. My main passion is art. So I had a girl sit in my section. I like befriended her. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, girl, you should just fuck my boyfriend. <laughs> Hold on. And so. Oh, <laughs> we, I know I was any man listening right now was like, what? <laughs> Who is this woman? <laughs> is she because an angel? I, I don't know. What? I don't know. What did she look like? She was so hot. I was like, perfect. Perfect. Because my boyfriend and I had an open relationship. So what so, did her man look like? She was actually with her sugar daddy. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. The story keeps on getting better <laughs> and better. So it's she like, was with her sugar daddy. This is like Y&R. And she has a boyfriend. <laughs> The storyline thickens. Welcome to the <laughs> fucking Nympho Diaries, bitch. Woo! So, We're not even in like, what, two f- minutes? I know. Shit, I know. I'm, I'm just I'm spilling too all too the tea right please. away. Like, I'm, I'm, it's a, I'm I have intrigued. a teapot, don't worry. There's just yeah, so yeah. much to, to talk about. I'm going to these titties. So I walk her to the bathroom. I get to know her. Um, she like added me on Instagram the next day. And then I went to Costa Rica and came back. And then we planned our, our little threesome. But her boyfriend was there. And he just he just watched. <laughs> so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Paint the picture for me now. You and her. Mm-hmm. Him not involved. Him watching. Just the two of you. And like, mm, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Did he record, or was you just sitting there? Like- um, he didn't record that time. There was a different threesome that involved me and her and someone else. That's yeah. not my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Indeed. <laughs> I've never. You know what? I've never been in that situation. No. Where it's just me and a lover, and mm-hmm. then someone just watch. Actually, no, I lied. I, 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 that's a total fucking lie. But I mean, it's never been where it's a man looking. Oh, okay. Like, at, so you on. like fucked a guy, and no, a girl no, 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 was no. watching. Me and my ex had sex, and then a girl, which was my a good friend of mine, okay. was recording. Oh, she was recording, not involved at all. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Oh, but wow. She just okay. recorded, but like. You know, that, I wouldn't look at that as the same situation. Why was she there recording? It was my birthday. We were fucking wasted. <laughs> I don't know. I think she came in there to get something and like. You're we, like, we you might just hold it. I'm camera. like, girl, get some ankle. <laughs> She's like, okay, I have and to go like, now. He, she was like, no, she was like, this is hot. She was like, I talked about this. I don't remember what episode, but yeah, it was pretty funny. Like she That's took her so shirt funny. off. She was like, she didn't even join in. She's like, this is just so hot. So you like cocked her in a way. No, no, I would never. We couldn't. Like, she's like a sister. Okay, you know those okay. relationships where you're like, mm, it's no. just, it's weird. Okay, okay, yeah, I see. So, yeah, no, I, just, I no. thought about it now. I was like, no, 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 it's but not gonna happen. That sounds like something interesting. Yeah, so that happened. Yeah, then the we it's happened another time with me and her, and she like FaceTimed her boyfriend. Um, but Wait, then, so hold on, she faced. <laughs> It was COVID. We wanted Wait. to be safe, so her boyfriend couldn't be there, but so, she could. <laughs> so, hold on. So, hold we on, were very safe. On. Masks were on. No condoms. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pam. Oh, Lord. Okay, so let's get this straight. You two were together, and then he was just on FaceTime? Um, it was her boyfriend that was on FaceTime. Oh, my. Yeah. He, he enjoys that kind of like, he likes. He just kind of wants to like be a voyeur. Like he just wants to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can say that. Just a little peep in sort of situation. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Then the third time I was yeah. like, I am so bored. It's COVID. I'm like, I'm going to go hang out with this girl. And then. <laughs> <laughs> it's COVID. It's literally. That's the only reason. That's it. You know, we're keeping it you safe. Pe- we pe- hung pe- out pe- masks on. Mm-hmm. Masks on. Pimp, 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 Sorry. <laughs> They're like, the cases are flying out the roof because of you. They're like, your little nah, orgy. No, 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 no. Orgies didn't have anything to do with them. No. No cases came from orgies. No. Like, I don't know the facts, but I'm just, I'm so. It was very safe. I'm, 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 I'm. I actually kept the condom like on I my like? nose so I couldn't breathe the COVID air. That's. <laughs> I like took air okay, from outside so and put it on my nose. How did it lead to the party? Um, so. We became really close friends yeah. after the we, our, our third threesome that's not involved with my boyfriend. And I um, 
moved into her Hold building. On, you keep on saying with and not with your boyfriend, so just let him know. Like, oh, he knows. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Is it just because I'm? You know, when you're on court, and I just like record. sent him a video, and he felt like he was involved, and he liked it. And oh. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's, it's, yeah, it's he was at home. He wasn't feeling too hot, so I was like, don't worry. <laughs> Boy, do I have something for you. He's like, fuck. <laughs> no. no, he likes it. Um, but then I actually ended up moving into her building because her mom yeah. is the super of the building that we live in. Mm-hmm. And Pretty convenient. Yeah, a couple months later, she's like, hey, I'm, I got invited to this uh, party. Would yeah. you like to come? I'm like, would I like to come? <laughs> like, oh. Did you send it like that? Like a, like a cream? Yeah. Did you? Would I like the, to come? You know what the emoji where it's like. But like C-U-M. She's like, can you stop? The, no, you know what I mean with the winking emoji? Like, yeah. Exactly. Wow. So um, you have to kind of be invited into these parties. Of course. I think also COVID has something to do with it. So it's like very word of mouthy. Yeah. And you're you have to have a partner. People. So... <laughs> Like, you want to know who's there and, like, yeah. have an idea. Let's just- so I booked it off work. I'm like, this is it. I'm like, this is it. I need to go to this fucking party. They're like, we're opening. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, I have priorities, okay? And <laughs> it's getting my pussy wet. <laughs> and so um, we went. Initially, they asked people, I'm like... I'm so in amazement right now. Like, Thank I, you. There's, like, an admiration. <laughs> there was, like, you know that heart emoji? Thank you. It's actually my first time doing something like this. And I just, I felt at home. I really did. I really did. It was like a nice community of people who are just so like-minded and like not judgmental. And you don't feel... um, Like your freak flag. Yeah. Yeah. There's no judgment there. And it's just some cool chicks, really open-minded guys and no no bad vibes. Like you just walk in there and they all come up to you and talk to you. You just want to fuck, basically. It makes you want to... Exactly. Spread You're some. like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Honestly, I I would love to experience something like. But you know what? In the right timing, I feel like. In the right timing, what's the right timing for you? <sighs> when it would make sense to me. What do you mean? Because I know I'm honestly I could say I'm not in that right headspace. No. Do you feel like you need to? What What would make you in the right headspace? Like a relationship. No. It's more of like a priority. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? So like, what are your priorities then? <laughs> when it comes down to it, it's all goal oriented. And okay. it's finding time. But yeah. I feel like it's also being in the right mood. Mm-hmm. Think of it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. if you're not mood, why not? And the right partner. And, it's, and you know what it is also right? to do is it's being out in a group setting mm-hmm. and like finding, because at least you knew the people that were going to be there, right? Babe, I didn't. What? Yeah. Stranger danger, but like not danger at all. Sexy stranger. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't mm. know. No, you just know. have to f- be comfortable. I really yeah. think that, like, if you had asked me to do this like a year ago, I'd be like, "Are you out of your fucking mind?" Like, no way. So, what changed in your life that made you <sighs> just so like more confidence in my relationship? Yeah. Like, we've had our ups and downs, and like this year and like year and a half, I would say it has been just so positive that I have no issue with seeing my boyfriend fuck someone else right in front of me and me not being no, I don't think there's a possessive thing. No, it's not even no. that. It's, it's just the emotional aspect. Like mm-hmm. I've talked about it with him and it's like, I, I'm not comfortable with him like pursuing a girl, but if we're at a party and everyone is having sex, then by any means. Ah, okay. Exactly. Exactly. And I told him that the other day. I was like, "Well, let's we'll get back. We'll get back to. I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna bring that up later. Yeah. So I want to get into our first smutty pool question. Can you? <laughs> I know yours gonna be like hell. Fuck Uh-oh. no. Can you date someone who wants to wait till marriage to have sex? <laughs> Me specifically. <laughs> Yeah, could you Absolutely do that? not. Hell no. No. Either. I'm sorry. No. I need to try no. the goods before. Yeah, why buy the cow down? when you can milk 18% it for said yes, though. Really? Who are they? I don't Let know. Let me change their mind. You- <laughs> You're like, Let me see some. I'm like, can I DM you? Me? Can you DM me, please? Um, 82% with us, of course. Yes, like, of course. You gotta, I think, I understand how some people do want to wait. Mm-hmm. I know some people that are virgins. And How old are they? Not that it's an age thing no, by any I means. Like it could also be like upbringing. Absolutely. Um, some people are just really uncomfortable sexual with their sexuality. Yes. Or are yes. confused. Do you know what I mean? And 
especially if you might live in a household where that stuff may be frowned upon, mm -hmm. it's hard, you yeah. know, to express yourself. I'm not gonna lie, like I kind of got more experienced and more into my own sexuality later in my 20s. Why? I just was think it, it, your it was experience. Really? It was just experience. Mm -hmm. Like you would have sex, but did you really like enjoy it and know like how to have better sex? and? That's understand true. your body that's and true what you really like you know what i mean like all those relationships that you've had mm -hmm. things change within your sex life absolutely you know what i mean especially if you've been with a partner for Ex so long right exactly so yeah. you try a bunch of shit so yeah. then the next partner you're like oh i have you know, <laughs> i have more things in my <laughs> bag in my overnight bag <laughs> right okay yeah. longest amount of time that you went without sex i actually went a full year without having sex I, I almost did a year. Yeah. I almost, like, it was, like, a close. I think it was, like, right before New Year's. Why did you do a year? Was it by choice or? Totally by choice. Yeah. And I, I could, it could happen right now because it's, <laughs> She's like, everyone's like, how the fuck do you do this? I'm like, listen, it does not matter what you're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Still mm -hmm. could be nasty and still be celibate. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It's actually almost sexier to, like, wait. Mm-hmm. Right? How long? So full full one year? A full year. I would say about mine's about eleven months. Okay. Yeah, no, um, honestly, I I went about twelve months. Twelve months. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say a full, full year. Not a full year. Do you know what I mean? Like is that, okay, is that something? Does it hurt your feelings to say a full no, year? No, because you know what happened? Oh man. I wanna know. The person that I broke that gap with, mm -hmm. fuck. It was so bad. I was pissed. Oh, no. I thought you were going to be like, we fell in love. Like, no, I was like, man, it was one of those, like, you and an ex, like, it was. You're like, I should have gone five. Yeah. Thank you. And you decided, like, I don't know why you would come, you know, contact one another. And Oh, man. Okay. So was it a random guy? Was it a no, guy? No, it was an ex. It was like, that's what no, I mean. No, like, that's those, even worse. Yeah, dude. Why? Yeah. So when you break that, like, Very toxic. You break that seal, it was like, <laughs> you're like can we put the seal back on no it was fucking i couldn't no, there's no fucking way anyways Aww. um that is why i i i, I if it happens mm -hmm. cool but i'm mm -hmm. not pushing for like a limit you know where people like put like okay i'm not gonna have sex for a year right? okay you put yourself on a goal like no yeah okay so if it happens it happens exactly. it's not intentional but yeah, yeah. i want someone to fulfill me okay i see so we've got 21% that have gone days and weeks, which is normal. Mm-hmm. Because what are you at right now? How, when's the last time you had sex? Yesterday. <laughs> this morning, my boyfriend got his COVID uh, second shot, like, of the vaccine. Yeah. And I was like, you're not going to go down on me? It's like, <laughs> I can't fucking move my arm. You're like, what if I just jiggle on top of your face <laughs> yeah. for a bit? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, so angry. Oh, Fine. man, that's hilarious. Well, 79% said months and years. So wow. many people have gone, yep. you know. Yeah. So that's good to know that we can kind of keep some to ourselves, right? Absolutely. The good thing is when you sustain for sex mm -hmm. and you just focus strictly on yourself and nothing else. Like I mean, you can still take care of yourself. I'm not saying masturbation. Of a part course. Of, it. <laughs> of course. You um you value who you have intimacy with. Yeah, you, you know? do. You really do. I I don't know about you. I've gone through the, gone through some times where it's like been toxic relationships, and then because if it was so based on sex, mm -hmm. it was like yeah, kept on going back and forth. Absolutely, you know what I mean. Nothing else matters but the sex, and the sex is so good that you're willing exactly. to put up with the shit. So then, when as soon as you break free, then you're like, oh. yeah, <laughs> you need some. So you keep you're like, this work. guy's really funny, but like, <laughs> it ugh. just it's a fucking psycho. It is, it you is. know. So when you really just eliminate all of that and you just focus on yourself mm -hmm. you eliminate yourself from those situations absolutely so. we yeah, get it that's what happens we get yeah. it sometimes no dicking down or whatever can be positive into. can be good <laughs> it's a journey could you be celibate for a year you already well, again you could. no you could oh again what could you think right now oh fuck no <laughs> no now i'm like i'm just like i'm done you're a horn dog i'm a horn dog what made you Okay, not what made you. At one point, did you notice that you're like, okay, my sex drive is like off the charts right now? When I don't have sex for four days, my boyfriend's in the fucking doghouse. Like, I really? want to kill him. Yeah. Like, mm. I'm like, who are you sleeping with? He's like, it's been four days and like, I'm just exhausted. I'm like, you're fucking cheating. <laughs> I'm like, then. I, 
So you need it every four days. Uh, mm. Maximum four days. If it goes longer, then I'm a fucking wreck, dude. Really? Oh my God, sobbing. Like you just find me on the couch. She's like, what's wrong? It's like, you're either on your period or I haven't had sex with you. I've been dick <laughs> yeah. deficient. Exactly, dick, dick deficient. That's so true. Oh my God, is that must be a thing. Yeah. A hundred percent. Okay, so 100%. I actually... The other day, I made a group chat between two of my best friends, one being Vanessa. And uh, I was, there's this place where you can go fuck shit up. Like you can uh, break uh, shit. What is it called? It's some like a rec room. That's Rage the room, rage room. Rage room. And mm-hmm, I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, let's go there and break some shit. Fuck yeah. shit up. And I honestly, like I've been working out a lot, mm-hmm. you know, just for other reasons other than that. You know. You don't have to have a reason. You know, if you want to exactly. work out, fucking work out. But. You know, that's a good way to release any frustration in the rage room or the workouts. It's working out. Okay. But, you know, I feel like this would be a great place. Like, who doesn't want to go and break a bunch of shit? Absolutely. And they're like, you are, you need to get out of some aggression. I'm like, or get laid. <gasps> they said that to you? Well, you know what? I had to kind of put it on the table. I was like, well, you know, it's, <laughs> I haven't had sex. Like, yep, that's it. They're that's- like, you get in there. They're like, extra plates. She's, they're like, DD deficiency. So. Yeah. I really, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's the room. They have but like a dick you, deficiency room. Do you prefer, because you go both ways? Uh, ish. Mm. I only go both ways if my boyfriend is involved, but not preferably. So you wouldn't just be with just a woman? I don't think so. I mean, I probably have, but I probably don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I drank a lot of tequila in my life. So, so you definitely did. Or you're down. You're totally uh, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Just for fun. But okay, then that wouldn't apply for you. Because I was saying if you were someone that kind of craved it. Because, mm-hmm. you know, depending on craved what you're Craved other in, women? Yeah. Okay. Just craving sexual anything, depending on what you're into. Yeah. You know, if you were, whatever you're craving, that's what you want. Here's the worst thing. I, like, can't read, like, a woman's energy. Like, is she hitting on me or does she really think? Same way. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, know. are you being nice? Or do you like me? I like never think that they like me. I think they're always just being nice. And there's been times where like, oh, that girl's into you. And I'm like, what? I'm like, me? (laughs) You don't say. For our next question, it says fake. Who's fake celibate right now? Mm. I have been there. Have you been there where you're like, I'm celibate. But then, you know, if some... I don't think so. I don't "Mm -hmm." think so. I like to talk about sex. So I can never like lie about it. Because I'm like, guess what? I did last night. Like, <laughs> right away. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not fake celibate. It's just... <laughs> I've been fake sober, let me tell you. No. <laughs> yeah, right? Fake sober. <laughs> Oops, this is just cranberry <laughs> soda. <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, no. Um, what you call it? I've been kind of fake celibate. I'm not going to lie. Where are you have all intentions you're like you know what i'm not fucking this guy mm-hmm. i'm not fucking nobody i'm just gonna focus on myself mm-hmm. and then an opportunity come rise and it's like someone that you probably had really good sex with before and you're like uh, you know what? it doesn't count today yeah you're like, you know i'm still celibate count. but <laughs> i took the dick in anyways like <laughs> it's just the tip <laughs> yeah that's what you say to yourself you're like it's the tip oh it's God. fine no one no. needs to know. You're Remember, like, I blocked I this out anyway. In high school? Let me just put the tip in. Let me just put you know, the tip in. You know, I lost in. my virginity after high school, so no. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I lied about lo- losing my virginity in high school, though. Why? There was, like, this stigma about being a virgin. Did you not what? know? What? Yeah. What? Uh, maybe in, uh, I was slut shamed in high school. I was called a hoe. See, and I had sex with one little boy. That's the thing. Like, it's we know cool I mean, like, to be a When hoe. I was, like, okay, me and him were in high school. Like, we mm-hmm. were one, like... We were teenagers. Yeah. Me and him. Sorry, I said that came out wrong. Guys, I'm not. <laughs> You're like, I, I was banging in a high school teenager a week ago. <laughs> right, no, God. I'm a fucking old ass bitch. But no. No. The slut shaming, I think, only happens in high school. And now it's like cool to be a slut. Yeah. Have you noticed like, that? What? It's like, yeah, the switch around. I'm like, you guys made so much fun of me. Man, if I was in high school back now, fuck. I'd be like fucking Queen Sheba. Queen Sheba of the hoes. <laughs> Only skanks leader. All right. <laughs> the leader of the skanks. The leader of the skanks. Oh my God, isn't that from Mean Girls? <laughs> Head and skanks. <laughs> See, girls are mean, fucking asshole. Yeah, anyways, right? anyways, anyways, um, for those results, people that were fake celibate were 16%. You guys ain't shit. Oh my God, find them out and put them on blast because. No, 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 we never do It would that. be so Why funny. Not? 
Um, and 84% said no. So not like, you know. Like us. Exactly. Yes. For mm-hmm. those that actually were celibate, because I did ask, who are for real celibate? There's, 14, you know, 14% right now, and I get it. Aww. You know, save yourself. 100%. Yes. 86% no. Y'all are fucking, I get it. Fuck it down, fuck it down. <laughs> um, you've been having regular sex? I have. I, I've been really have. Yes. You know, fuck. I honestly, you know what it is? I'm just fucking horny ass pigtails tails going on they're so freaking cute like, they're so cute you look like a spice girl right or sailor yeah. moon from exactly. the hood <laughs> it's so cute uh, just it's a so little cute. troll right um no it's just we'll see guys we'll count down when i get some dick i'll, I'll let you guys know i can't wait to hear about it too. <laughs> right i'm like who broke Countdown. it <laughs> you know what i mean Who's, who made like, her fake celibate <laughs> <laughs> it's not big celibate fuck off anyways uh 47 percent said i sounds like a i sound like a reporter every time i say my numbers 47 percent um are going down to uh, going down to pound town okay and 53 percent said no so mm, okay that's people kind of that like are a... not getting fucked regular so i'm not alone see you know no you're sense. not alone see like it's an epidemic of its own and the thing is if you have that one person that you're fucking real good what's gonna happen is you know what happens. What yeah. happens? What happens when you're fucking someone real good? Mm-hmm. You fucking get in a relationship is what happens. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> like, I was moving to Vancouver and I accidentally fell into a relationship. Because the like, dick was that good? Oh, my God. Girl, I've been there. Oh. Every woman has been to a point where a dick is so good, she's like, I'm going to move there. I moved I'm back. Gonna I'm like, there. here I come. <laughs> You're like, what's I your swear. mama's address? Yeah, yeah. I'm Let me meet your something. mom. Let me meet your mom and your sister and your brother. Right? Oh, man. Um, this is where I wanted to go back. Oh, oh, no. Remember I was talking about uh, eggs? Oh. <laughs> and it's going to come back in something that I wanted to talk about. So this question here, and I, I wanted to... I wanted to tell you guys this weird story and I wanted to know if everyone else does the same thing. And if you do, please let me know your creepy stories Mm -hmm. because I feel like people do weird shit, especially when you've been with someone for a long time. You know, Mm -hmm. when you're really comfortable. Absolutely. Okay. So have you ever examined your partner's cum? You know, (laughs) I usually just swallow it. So I don't know. (laughs) Oh, you dirty little bitch. No, that's amazing. We're here for it. We're here for the swallow. It's either in me or in my mouth. Good girl swallow. (laughs) But I mean, there's times where you've like, it's gone other places. You've never, like you've seen. Well, you know, here's the thing. If it's too light, I'm like, you jerked off and this is why you lasted too long. And then I get pissed. So you've examined his cum. Like I've ever played. And it looks like, you know, egg whites. Egg whites look like cum. I don't care what anyone says. Egg whites They're like, like oh cum. my god! They look like fucking cum. They egg do. whites look like cum, and I love it. They look like pre cum. Not yeah yeah yeah. But if you get like okay, if you what do they call it? Egg it, de egg it. Like when you take the fucking yolk oh, when you from, separate it. Yeah, there yes, you go. Yes, separate. Absolutely, it. There you go. I agree with you on that. Yes. Wow. Um, it. So <laughs> basically, Excellent. when you're taking it apart, and sometimes you get a little bit of the yolk if you don't get it perfect okay it gets a little bit thicker right yeah so it looks like fucking egg whites it, it looks like fu- anyways i've there's been plenty of times where i've examined and kind of like played in it you played in it yeah like, do you put it on your face because i hear it's good for your i've face. never tried that and i know that's for a fact it's really good okay do you yeah. know what i think about that is that it's a man who came up with that fact he's like babe let it me come protein, on your face it has proteins in it is that what it is it's been proven i told my cum boyfriend it's good for your face Mm. Come is very good for your face. Ladies, get it in the face. Come on, get come on Don't your face. get it in your eye. <laughs> that burns. <laughs> you don't want to fuck up your cumbrellas. Oh, the eyelashes? <laughs> you guys like my cumbrellas. They're perfect. Thank you. They're protective. Anyways, with the weirdos, 37%. Yes, I knew it. I, I honestly one. voted the other way in that poll, I have to say. But then I thought about it and I'm like, no, I yeah. totally get pissed off when his cum is and clear. And you're looking and I'm like, at it. You're like, why is this cum not as much as I thought there would be some? Yeah, I'm like, oh, you jerked off. Great. Good job. Thank you. It's been and nice. 63% said no, which I get, you know, it's, it is kind of weird. <gasps> I'm like masturbation shaming. I'm like, don't fucking masturbate before Why? you fuck me. No, I'm just kidding. But then it it's just because like it's that. less for you, right? It's just selfish shit. You just it is. The, I'm like, I just want to be a fucking. You want all his nuts. <laughs> yeah. Just I don't want to be a squirt. toaster strudel. <laughs> I want to be a Twinkie. 
you know? <laughs> Give me all of it. So <laughs> I get jealous. <laughs> Kinky of his hand. <laughs> Kinky parties. <laughs> I'm gonna do one soon. Just I don't know when, guys. Just when it happens, just fucking come. I can't wait. Come um, and come. <laughs> literally, mm-hmm. a kinky dinner party. Oh, that'd be so sexy. Like you can be eating dinner and people are fucking on the table. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Whatever goes. You do what you want. It's just no cameras allowed. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you do one? A kinky dinner party. A kinky, yeah. A kinky Abs- dinner party. Yeah. I would. That'd be so fun. I'd be like, just don't come near my food, and then we're good. Yeah, yeah, 100%, because then that's yeah. just, like, that's going to ruin everything, right? Mm-hmm. Um, see, here's the thing. When you're going to do a dinner party, it's so intimate, right? So you got to make sure that everyone that's invited, you know, kind of vibes properly, because let's be honest, food, sex, <laughs> in a small, tight space. Yeah. Let's be right. Like, mm, who I don't would know. you invite? Who would be like? Okay, let's talk celebrities. Who would be your ideal dinner guest at your at sex a kinky dinner party? Dinner party. Ooh, dead or alive? Oh, both. I mean, <laughs> you took it there. So let's bring the dead people back. Prince. <gasps> um, I heard he's like super short. I don't give a fuck. He like, will he make it I up on top of the dinner table? Tupac. Um, mm. It's gonna be all the people I want to fuck. So. <laughs> You're you like, someone you know. take care of the dinner. Tupac, um, Rick James for entertainment, mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle, he would be really fun there. I bet he has Snoop a huge dog. He'd bring the best weed. Brianna, because she's lit. Yeah. And she's hot. I'd probably want to gab a one, too. Hello. <laughs> um, who else? This is, I mean, is there a number of people? Because I can There's go all no day, limit. Bitch. There's no limit. No, nah, man. Hold on. Mm. You know who I think would be boring and bad? Who? Beyonce. Mm, I don't know her that like that. No, but I wouldn't invite her to my party. No, she's not invited. That's one. That's mm. one dinner she can't come to. Two chains for real. Oh, Nas, because I'm gonna get married that night. I'm gonna get pregnant that night. <laughs> I'm gonna end the night off with Nas. I'm like everyone leave. Everyone leave. Bye. You stay here. <laughs> it's like dessert. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it for now. But that's your dinner. What party? about you? Jeez. It's a lot okay. of men. You're going to... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can come, too. I'm allowed? Yeah, you... Okay, thank you. I said that's celebrities. Angelica, are you down to come to my kinky dinner party? Yeah, okay, she's down. Trish, do you want to come to this kinky-ass party? There's not a lot of dick. There's not a lot of pussy. So you might have to bring some. You know, you I would invite. Welcome. I would invite people. <laughs> There's like, I didn't bring invited up. Why am I... Like, it's, it sounds it like a It can be your celebrity bang. friends. Oh, it is a gangbang. It is. Mm. You're getting double stuffed to like your last episode. No, no, I want to take, I want to, I want to, I want to do it like in sequence. I want to enjoy each one. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's basically a fuck Like I'm going to like change different outfits after each fuck. <laughs> like, okay, next bitch. You're change like, you, ma- you just match make, outfits. Yeah, different outfits mm-hmm. and for different fucks, you know? I love that. Okay, you. but um, yeah, that would be my kinky dinner party. But I mean, there will be a kinky party, not a dinner party. Okay. If I did a kinky eating party, you guys wouldn't. You're like, you guys, it. can you can you eat before, please? There's, <laughs> no, I no, might you do, I know, might you do hors d'oeuvres. You would know. You would know. You would know. <laughs> there was chips, I think. I don't remember. I was like literally in the middle of my blackout when I was like fine when I got there. And then I'm like, this oh. This is the dinner party that you No, went this to. is my orgy. The one that you just went to. Mm-hmm. So, this is why I knew you would have to have something to talk about. Yeah. Can you come next time? See. Mm. We'll see. Ooh, we'll like podcast live from there. Maybe only fans. <laughs> I'll go behind the scenes. Hello. Oh, I tr- I went I'm down that. Po- I'm in the belly of the dicks. <laughs> um, but for our results for Kinky Dating Party, eighty two percent are down. Oh, see, people Y'all are into that shit. shit. Yeah, oh. I love that. And I mean that. And I, you guys know what I mean by kinky. I couldn't just say like you know. I wanted to make it classy. <laughs> Kinky with an Axante girl. Right? Yeah. 18% said no, but I bet you when you see the footage from the other 82%, <laughs> you go on join. <laughs> so I I have to tell you guys a story. Mm-hmm. Oh. I saved the best for last. <gasps> Is this the one you wouldn't tell me before? Yes. Oh, I'm so, so excited. I did something the other day, and it's something that I've always kind of, I guess, wanted to know about. Wanted to try, learned a little bit about, but never really got a chance to actually do it. Okay. And a girlfriend of mine, he literally hit me up and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I was literally laying in bed watching TikTok, watching dumb shit, like <laughs> fucking, you know. So nothing. Yeah, I just finished eating dinner. Okay. <laughs> like, I told her, I'm like, I'm laying down chilling. She's like, 
Listen, I have this guy. He's a, I'm gonna call it a financial pig. <gasps> a pay pig. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. And very good. He wants me to call him um, with my girls and just talk shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> you like say no more. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, she's like, I'm gonna call you. She's like, we're just gonna talk a bunch of shit. Just say the worst. I'm like, this is awesome. You're like, I get to degrade you yeah, and, and get paid. Like, and I'm going to give you a cut from what he gives me. I was like, get out. amazing. How did she find him? So, no, she's, I guess she just had him for a while. Okay. So I was like, say less. So what happened <laughs> is we, she calls me, we're on FaceTime. And I kid you not, I was on the phone for like, not even a minute. Okay. Like, he I like hangs God, up. He's it was like, like no, because we were talking so much shit. We were like, oh, this fucking idiot, this little <laughs> dick, dumb bitch. We're gonna... And I'm like, I was like, I'm gonna milk this motherfucker. Give all, take all this damn money. Yes. Give him money. Why is this my dream? Continue. Literally, I was like, who are we going to I'm like, buy every bottle in the Bumba Club, please. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. No. Yeah, it was hilarious. So then like, in, um, what's it called? Like, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. You get me transfer it? She sends me a PayPal and it was like 150 US. Oh my God, that's and amazing. I just, and I literally was laying in bed. I was like doing nothing. I'm like, this, this is mm -hmm. this is something I could do. This Dude. is amazing. So, so it was my first, you know. Your first do, pay pig? Yeah, and I'm like, you know what? I could totally be a dom and I've talked about Financial this. dominatrix. Yes, so man. I looked into this. There's a lot of Splenda daddies out there that want to be financially dominated, but they actually have no fucking money. Yeah, you can't do it like that, Poppy. Yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it. They need to, you know what they need to do on these fucking websites is have a screenshot of your bank account because what can I drain if your bank account balance is $10? Get the have fuck you tried out it? of here. Have you tried I haven't done it. Snatching man's money. I haven't done it, but I've researched it because I've always wanted to do sex work. That's something I've always, always wanted to do. And I'm like, wait, I don't Girl. get to fuck you and I get to fucking ruin your life. I'm like, oh my God. This it's is like the being best. a toxic ass girlfriend without oh, no relationship. Absolutely. I'm like, I get to step on your balls and you get to fucking pay me for it. I'm like, I'm like pinching Cheers, myself. Bitch. Yeah. Cheers, bitch. Right. Oh, fuck. We didn't even light the goddamn candle. Okay, we're bright, <laughs> we're bright enough. Okay? Right? Lighting up, lighting up. Um, it was honestly so fun. How satisfying is it? Well, yeah. And then she's like, well, she lives in Miami. Mm -hmm. And she's like, when you come down here, she's like, I have, I have another, I have, she goes, she goes, this is going to be so fun. I'm like, this is Where does amazing. she live? In Miami? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she lives down in Miami. <sighs> this is another thing. I feel like Canadian men don't have as much money as Americans. You know what it is? There's more people out there that are like, there's more millionaires in a smaller mm -hmm. area. Could it be the population thing? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like we and have what? What's 30 million here? Yeah. And then yeah. on top of that, there's like so many different businesses and like, yeah. especially an area where there's a lot of entertainment. There's mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, expensive real estate. Yeah. Um, it's a prime area for a lot of money and wealth. Yeah. And it's been like that for a while. So, yeah. you know, it was honestly so much fun. And I was like, hey, you know what? This is, I want to, I love pigs. pigs I love pay favorite. pigs. <laughs> That's give what, me all your I'm money. I'm going to make you a shirt. Fuck no, you, pay me. Give me all your fucking money. It's like, yeah. it's like being a sexy robber. There's a, sexy that is robber. a sexy robber. Sexy bank robbers. Yeah. No, there are websites. You <laughs> should check, look check. into it, honestly. Check, check, check. Cha 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 No, I I really need to um pursue more into <laughs> I'm laughing because like you know I'm thinking I'm like You're like what else can I get my hands on? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, no, right? There's so the much is, out there that we don't know. And the more I find out, I'm like, I fucking would love to do that. Yeah. Like, oh, there's so much sex work out there. I'm like, why am I working? It it, you find little niches and that's what it is. It's niches. It's the niches. Absolutely. And there's something like, I'm kind of like that, but I don't want to do the extreme. There's always a... A medio, like me know? medium. So there's like beginner, intermediate, and like... So you want to be in the intermediate? Okay. Yeah, so I, what I, would I that be? I low-key want to kick some ass though. I low-key want to kick some niggas' asses. Like... I think I'd be able to Just beat them up. up? Just beat five motherfuckers oh, up. Like, shush, shush, shush. I know. It's very hard to <laughs> like, get into that. Obviously, I know you don't do like, you know, one of those, but like. <laughs> no, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. 
They see people oh like God. glasses broken on their exactly. heads and shit. That'd be fun. We need other <laughs> just anger issues, anyways. <laughs> My it's love. a rage room. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you pleasure so is all much. Mine. You came in like that a was whole fun. Last Can we just like have like a just come 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 focus right in here like <laughs> all of this lovely sexiness? Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Any last words? Um, follow my art account at <laughs> Only Skanks, and you can follow my personal account if you want to be fucking uh, my pay pig. So at Only Sans. <laughs> wow, straight to you the fucking You can e-transfer me. Um, ask for my email. <laughs> <laughs> Pay, I accept is, PayPal. I love this bitch. <laughs> I love this bitch. Anyways, you already know, guys. That is another one. X and O's house. We out.